well, now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. And he's brought down. I'll tell you what, they're not messing around. You get the quick touchdown, and then you go for two to go up 8 nothing here on the road. In a sense, they hit him with a big shot right away. You don't throw a jab after you throw the haymaker, right? Go ahead and go for two. They did. They're in control. Steven Goskowski set to kick off. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This taken in about four yards deep. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. At their own 17-yard line. Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. Bringing him down defensively, Jayon Brown. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second and five now from the 22. Throwing is Wilson. Rolling to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. 34-yard line. First and ten. Now it's Carson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Ten more there and another first down. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator, understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarter... Back, though can look at the defense realize he needs to change it to a run and that gets it done in a big way as well on first and ten it's Wilson they'll run the screen with Carson three yards the game there second down in order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. He pitches it out. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally brought it down at the 38. 15 yards on the play, first down. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run. 
and just lost track and it cost him. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Behind the sticks here with a second and 15. the gun it's Wilson and looks for Lockett once more this time he's got it and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going down that one good for 20 on the catch and run and let's face it that what we just saw there not a surprise is it I mean this is what he does well and if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball <laughs> this is the end result big yardage after it has got the speed the agility so good with run after catch and we're only in the first quarter so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly yeah you're exactly right and what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch a lot of times they'll just run past you at the initial point of contact they'll go deep they'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble and it's second down yeah he only gets a few yards on first and ten but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Now a second down and six. Here's Carson. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. You're going to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4. Brings up Those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked by Kevin Byer. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. They'll take over first and ten at their own nine-yard line. through and now a crease and he takes us beyond the 35 before Derek going out of bounds give him 28 oh, yards on that one game. and it's going to yield a new set First of downs down, Tennessee So from the 36 now, first and 10. One quarter down, 8 nothing the score. Titans 8, Seahawks nothing. They keep it with him on first down. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Eric Henry, the Titan ball. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurry movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. After the penalty, it's Henry. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And we were down on the field watching Henry warm up before the game. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. I mean, you get him out of pads and just see him in a regular suit or an outfit. He is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, he's a lot to bring down. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go a 
a loss of four. Well, CD, you know, taking a step back. We're two weeks into the season, and you already kind of get the sense that teams are beginning to separate themselves. If you, if you look at the 2-0 and teams, and remember, 62% of 2-0 and teams ultimately make the playoffs. But Baltimore, Kansas City, Green Bay, Seattle, just to name a few, they look really good. They certainly do, and in a lot of ways, those are the teams that we expected to be 2-0 and at this part of the season. I mean, it's no major surprise. But how about Arizona being 2-0 and as well? It's caught inside the 25. Ryan, he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. A very nice pickup of 33 yards on the play. First down, Titan. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, here's Tannehill. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Touchdown, A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. It feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football. And that's exactly what happened there. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Doctor Davis. Brings up second and ten at the 25-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard.
EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Tennessee Titans and the Los Angeles Rams. Stephen Goskowski is set to kick off. A lot has changed since these two met in Super Bowl 34, and off we go between the Rams and Titans. And this carries into the end zone. Side probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll run for the first down here. With the Second and two. Brown, the ball carrier. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Brings up second and handing it off to Brown. And they bring him down at the 27 yard line. We always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A second and two. That means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times the play caller he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Second and nine. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive line, but let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stopped the run. from there he doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone and he got there in a hurry
Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And with the play clock reading four, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And this is good. Our score, 7-0, Tennessee. Makes the score, Titans 7, Rams nothing. Steven Goskowski is set to kick off. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This taken in about four yards deep. A little joke. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Rams take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. They defer to Brown to start the drive. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. And he powers his way up past the 30. Ball carrier. He's brought down at the 31. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and two. Goff fakes the give to Brown. He'll throw. Fluster is right. Trying to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Try to do anything to get them to jump off sides and pick up a first down easily. Instead, it goes against them. Show up fourth down. Here's Johnny Hecker to put it away. Kevin Byer deep for Tennessee. Just a 32-yard punt with no return. And it'll be Titan football. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. They'll be back at the 36. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. At the 36-yard line. Out of the 
the gun. Tannehill. Tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. It's caught by Davis. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down. First down, Tannehill. And that is caught by Davis for a Tennessee touchdown. Corey Davis there to make the grab. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. Early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you get the defensive touchdown early, give you the first score. And then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, and we've had that conversation with prior to the game, they always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. The point Steven after try for Goskowski. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. 14. Rams nothing. Steven Goskowski set to kick off. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. The Rams take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they should have won? Because you have two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. That's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, it's Brown, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. And now what a first down pick up of eight. I think they let this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Goff now looking to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Gone. Incomplete on the deep ball. Robert Woods, the intended. 
intended receiver that time. And it's third and short. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. This is third and one, very likely four down territory. It's an intercepted. team that was really amped up they've been playing so well yet they didn't get over excited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big Steven play instead Gostowski they created their own big play with a pick six this one may be over yeah it's just the first half but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already Steven Goskowski set to kick off. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, it's Simba Webster. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And some dangerous territory, already down three scores, a three and out here, an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. And what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Target runs, it's complete. It's a game of 34. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. 41 yard line. They give it to Brown. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Tackle made at the 38 yard line. A three yard pickup. Now a play fake and it's gone. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Start on the ground, it's Derrick Henry. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First down, Titans. They'll run with Henry. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met half the line of scrimmage. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. As he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Tannehill. And he'll be hit as 
He releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. In from the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They snap it to Tannehill. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, let's go back to the start of the season talk, Charles. We talked about some 2-0 and and 0-2 teams. You mentioned Arizona, maybe a good surprise. Houston, a bad surprise. Any other teams a surprise? And the 10 defense steps up here, and down he goes. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. A shotgun snap for goal. Out of the backfield, he's got Malcolm Brown. And right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense. Finding a way to get to it and forcing a third down. Throwing on third. Gone. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Goff and his guys not coming off the field. They're going for this. They're going to go for it. It's gone. Possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And man is Davis. He's going for a Tennessee touchdown. Seconds of the first half, and the Titans are going to add on to their lead. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 nothing now. Makes the score Titans 28, Rams nothing. Steven Goskowski set to kick off. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. On the return comes Webster. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. as the third quarter gets underway. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line.
The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. We'll be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Through the air, caught the D off guard on third and one. 